But I think there were a lot of reasons. Uh, I was just extremely fond of the idea of storytelling since childhood. So I started off uh, by trying to learn how to play the guitar, and then I kept learning, and then I got introduced to the uh, uh, art of uh, writing. Started writing, then acting came into the picture, and I did a couple of plays. I did theatre, and then I just fell in love with the uh, concept of you know, being somebody you're not in your own reality and living somebody's somebody else's reality that really inspired me to be an actor. And uh, yeah, the second question we have here is how was your experience with the actors industry? Just a second. Okay. How was your experience with the advertisement industry? I think advertisement industry is fun. It's, uh, there's not a lot of acting in the advertisement industry. To be very honest, it's, it's more like you know you just read a script and you just get into the moment and you just act it out. When you're acting in a film, it's more like there's a lot of research that goes into the character that you're playing. There's a lot of uh, uh, you you have to study uh, personalities when you're uh, trying to be somebody in a film because that's a long process. Ads are just fun, you know, you uh, just, there's not a lot of preparation that is needed for ads. That, that's what I've experienced personally. Uh, and yeah, it's really fun, like, but sometimes you got to be extremely patient with ads because sometimes they take a lot of uh, time to come out. Uh, I have, I've shot four ads and I've been waiting for the last uh, seven months for one of those ads to come out and five months for the other. And that sometimes it gets it gets frustrating when ads don't come out. Yeah. When did you decide to do both acting and singing together? Well, to be uh, very honest, I'm not a singer. I can write songs, I compose music, and I'm a guitarist. I don't really sing. So yeah, uh, I I started playing the guitar when I was ten years old. At that time, I didn't know that I would start acting. And uh, when I turned 18 years old, when I was in college, I got an opportunity to act in an ad film. So I just grabbed the opportunity and I went on set and I uh, played the character that I was offered. And it was really fun. And then, uh, yeah, at, at that time I was also playing for a band called Nasya. So I was studying in college, doing gigs, performing at concerts and also doing ad films. So I never really gave it a thought that I was doing uh, these things Parallelly, but it was really fun. Like I spent three years like this, just performing, acting, being on stage, and then going to college. What sort of acting roles are you seeking in the future? Like every actor says, I am uh, seeking roles that challenge me. Uh, I would want to uh, play people that you know, that uh, characters that I haven't really. There are far away from my own reality like that just uh, uh, helps me you know explore myself more and I, I, I think I'm not uh, I'm not very good with uh, comedy on camera so I would definitely want to do comedy so that I can learn and I think yeah some uh, action films something that uh, you know offers me a very intense approach these are the things that I want to. These are the things that I would want to uh, explore in my career at night. What is your philosophy towards your work? I am extremely passionate about my work. I am extremely passionate about what I do: acting, music, finance, everything, uh, writing. 
but i think these things are secondary pursuits in life uh, i never really i never let my happiness depend on the things that i do or my career or anything uh, i think these are all secondary pursuits and my first priority in life is my mental and my physical well being so i focus a lot on my mental fitness and my physical fitness and then after that everything else follows What is your philosophy towards your work? Does everything uh, is everything going on in your acting career as you expected, and how you deal with ups and downs? The best formula to deal with ups and downs, according to me, is to constantly learn and try to grow as a person and uh, in whatever uh, field you are. So I constantly try to learn new things. I I read a lot. I I think I read four to five hours a day. That's Pretty normal for me, so I'm constantly growing and I'm constantly working on myself. So these ups and downs don't really affect me. There's no work. I'm okay with it because my graph is always going up when it comes to growth because I'm always growing mentally, physically, and uh, spiritually. So yeah, I, I I'm not really bothered about these ups and downs in my career because these things happen. Yeah. How do you feel about being a part of an OTT platform? How do you feel about being a part of an OTT platform? Uh, I've done one film with. Uh, I played a small part in this film called Guilty, which was on Netflix. It was great, and uh, yeah, I think OTT is taking it to the next level because now again due to the coronavirus pandemic, I don't think a lot of people would want to go to a movie theater to watch a film currently. I don't know about later, but yeah, that's true for today. And I think it gives people the opportunity to watch films at home, and there's a lot of good quality content that is coming out. It's not just, uh, you know, uh, like it's heavy stuff. Like it's good, and yeah, I think it's pretty amazing how you can, uh, you know, watch anything at your own uh, home, at your own convenience, at your own time. And it's as good as a. Of course, it's not as exciting as uh, it is in a movie theater on a big screen. But yeah, I think it's satisfying and it's fun watching films at home. I I don't think you realize once you get into the groove, once you uh, into the film, once you're watching it. I don't think you realize that you're sitting in a movie theater or sitting at home if the film is good. Yeah. And having said that, I've also done a film uh, which is called Squad. I've played a role in that. And uh, hopefully it will be out in movie theaters soon. And uh, yeah, that's I, I think that's the typical. Uh, this is what a newcomer or an actor wants, like to watch himself or herself on the big screen in a movie theater. So that is also very satisfying and extremely important for me as an actor to watch myself on the big screen. So yeah, I think both the things are good. How do you feel? Any particular actor, director you would like to work with in the future? Yes, I would. Uh, I would love to work with Mr. Imtiazin. After watching his film Tamasha, I think I was blown, and I, that that was one film that uh, I could relate with, uh, and I loved it. And I, I I have always been a big Imtiazin fan, so I would love to work with Mr. Imtiazin. And also, Mr. Anurag Kashyap, who's also a brilliant director. Yeah. Also, uh, yeah, I I would also love to work with Mr. Ranveer Kapoor once because I think I I, I relate with most of the characters that he plays. He played uh, a, a guitarist and a singer in Rockstar, and I am a guitarist in my real life, and I lived that life. And uh, he played. Uh, Bunny in Ye Jawan Ye Di Bunny. My nickname is Bunny, and I definitely relate with that character because he also. He, I, I think we, that character and I share the same philosophy. So yeah, and also in Tamasha, I lived some of that life that Ranveer Kapoor played in Tamasha. Where do you see yourself in the next five years? And I think I would love for it to be a surprise for me. I don't. I don't. I, I don't want it to be like a fixed plan. That this was always going to happen because I don't think these things work. 
I definitely want to be in a good place, in a very happy place, in a very positive environment where I'm working and constantly growing and I'm surrounded with, by good people and good people in my life, good food, happy environment and of course, yeah, I, since I'm working really hard, I think I'll be in a happy place when it comes to my career also. So yeah, what's your opinion on nepotism in Bollywood? I think uh, nepotism doesn't really have, I think this question doesn't really have a fixed answer because if you know, uh, if an actor has worked really hard in his or her life and uh, and you know, somewhere down the line they have kids and they want their kids to be in the industry, why would the actor not support his child or her child? That is going to happen. Now you can't, uh, and of course, survival depends on your talent. So if a star kid is talented, he or she will survive and you know make it big. But if he or she is not talented and doesn't really work hard on his craft or her craft, I don't think they'll survive. So this is completely uh, really subjective, and uh, this question can have too many answers. How was life in quarantine? I think life in quarantine was amazing because I read so much. I was at home for so many days and now I started going out and uh, it was great. Like I, I, I think this was like a transformation period for me because I read at least uh, so many books ever that, that were on my uh, list and I think I learned a lot. I've grown a lot as a person in this quarantine. Of course, there was not a lot, lot of work. I had to uh, shift to Delhi. I was living in Bombay before this quarantine happened and then I had to shift to Delhi and I think I'll be here for uh, some time until uh, you know I have some work in Bombay and it was great. Quarantine was personally it was good for me. Alright, thank you so much for uh, watching this interview and I hope uh, you liked it and thank you so much. Uh...